Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Bright Torn, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 and the Royal Court expansion. All right, so let's just go ahead and jump into today's episode because I'm recording this uh, right after the last one, and uh, this one might be a little bit shorter. Uh, we'll probably shoot for a little bit shorter episode so I can start uh, editing these, and we can have the uh, the previous episode out in time. Uh, so yeah, we did get him into our empire, and thus we're now over the vassal limit. Ah, what a shame. All right, so just one more character. That's all we were able to take. And uh, thus we're going to need to to deal with uh, a duchy tunnel again, probably. I assume we have some duchy tunnels that could be created like the uh, Duchy of Sardinia. Yeah, that makes sense to, to create that one. Problem is, a lack of funds right now. Hmm. Uh, this gets rid of a lot of titles, though. So I think it would be the best one to, to do. So let's do that one, guys. The Duchy of Sardinia, and then we'll grant that out to whichever character is most deserving of it. Uh, now, I know that this guy here is already a Duke of Corsica, and he currently controls two of the counties in Sardinia. So he actually has more counties here than any of the other characters. All right, well, that means that we wouldn't be able to put him under. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. He's pretty good. He's 37, so he's not old. Could just give him that dudgy too, I suppose. Uh, does he not like us from us not giving him a... Uh... Can you not give this to him? This count? Yeah, he's directly under another character, so that's what the problem is. So you can't grant that to him. All right, well, we're not getting the penalty, so that's what's important. Uh, we'll look at these other characters to see, you know, if uh, there's somebody who would be better for this this duchy title. Uh, I mean, this guy's okay at intrigue. He doesn't like us at all. A lot of people don't like us right now, though. Is that uh, negative 14 for the the tyranny and the negative 15 for too many duchies? All that is impacting us. Uh, though we shouldn't be getting negative 15 anymore. Yeah, it looks like it's just the the three duchy titles. So yeah, once we get rid of that, that'll Get rid of the negative 15. Uh, over here, he's 44. Not all that impressive stat-wise. Yeah, same with this guy. I mean, I, I really feel like he's the best option. Or, well, not her, obviously, but uh, him, the, the Duke over here. Uh, but let me just see if he has any other territory. He doesn't. He just has these three here. Uh, so, yeah, I think he's a, a great fit, honestly. I know he already has a duchy. Uh, but, yeah, let's go to grant him this, this title. He should like us quite a bit as well. Uh, for granting him this. So we'll grant him the Duchy of Sardinia. That'll get rid of three of our vassals. Boost his opinion by 60. And uh, apparently he's in a faction. So whichever faction he's in. Let me just take a look at that. I want to see which faction he's in. Because I'm curious. But that faction will... Uh, that's it right there. We'll lose any discont discontent. They don't have any. He'll probably not even be in that faction anymore. So we'll get rid of it. Not that it was a problem anyways. But, uh, you know. Good to know. Uh, let's go ahead and grant him this duchy. He'll be quite pleased. Not as pleased as I thought. The offensive wars here is getting us a negative 10, so there's that. I mean, there's a lot of stuff impacting it. Uh, cultural acceptance is quite low, too. And he desires this uh, uh, county here. This one here, why did we not grant that to him? I'm not entirely sure we didn't grant that to him, but yeah, we should. That'll... Uh, further boost his opinion. There we go. That's what I was expecting to see. It was probably because he has another county is what I'm assuming. Yeah, it's because he has a county over here. That's why I didn't grant it to him immediately. I'm, I'm fine with him having that. Probably should have took a look at that before we granted it to him. But yeah, this works out nicely. He now owns both Sardinia and Corsica. Almost their entirety uh, with the exception of that one county. And he likes us. That's what's important. He likes us a lot. And uh, look at that prowess. Good God. Do you guys see that? That's 42. That's not bad. He's a legendary blade master. Yeah, another reason to keep him keep him happy. All right, so we're trying to chase this guy down. Uh, no success yet. He's moving faster than us. Uh, looks like we'll get him right here, though. Uh, now he'll be defending the hills uh, with the defensive building bonus, but obviously we have two times the number, so not a problem. Also, that independence faction, which I think he was the one uh, leading that one, uh, it disbanded. Uh, so we can vassalize another character, and he's got a lot of territory over here. Wow. Yeah, another duke. Uh, but we neighbor it, 
Uh, so yeah, let's let's do it. Let's add a big chunk of southern France into our empire. That works out very nicely. Uh, anything else in here? Just got to keep on peeking in there because you never know when you're gonna get a uh, new powerful uh, vassal. Yeah, we just keep stretching our territory out. And if we inherit that, uh, or if we you know get that territory in Leon from our son, and yeah, we just are uh, in almost every country at this point. Uh, we're not in England. Another faction has disbanded, by the way. And it seems that these guys are, are going to be moving even slower than expected. I mean, it's still 14 months. Yeah, he'll have the low taxes and the low levy contribution. But yeah, that is... Uh, he, he might... Yeah, he definitely is. He's uh, powerful enough to be a powerful vassal here. Uh, and also, we seize control of the shield here. It's a court artifact. I really don't think... It's better than the stuff we already have. We could take a look. Yeah, I don't think so. Let's take a peek real quick. And see if... Uh, oh, we got an event over here, too. We'll take a look at that. Uh, we'll just see. Oh, wait a minute. We actually have an opening here. What happened? Huh. Did we just never have anything there? I could have swore we had something there. Um, yeah, I guess it makes sense to, to put that there. Uh, currently, we have the two skulls up over here. Maybe we just never had anything to put there. So that's very nice that we got it. That's just more renown and more court grandeur. So we'll take it. Glad I looked. Uh, also, I forgot about that event. Uh, so let's gonna take a look, see what this is. Aristocratic pretensions. Uh, so this is involving three courtiers. I know who none of them are. Uh, they are all overtly discussing my great number of titles within deliberate earshot. So this is an event we've seen. They want us to give them a county. I'm not giving them anything though. Yeah, we're not going to give them anything. And so, yeah, we can just say, what are you looking at? <laughs> yeah, let's just do that. Because I don't want to give them any of this territory. Or not that county. Uh, there's none of the counties I want to give them. Uh, we've got five people in our prison. And we are a little short on money. So, might be good to, to take a look, see if we can't get some, some money for any of them. Yeah, I can see, uh, wow, she's got a lot of money. I don't know where she got it from, but let's ransom her. I don't even know where she comes from. I don't remember arresting her. She must have been from one of these sieges or something. Uh, but yeah, it said, oh, it doesn't tell us who her, uh, her liege is. Uh, we got this little girl as well. She can ransom off for 50 gold, so let's go ahead and do that. I don't think any of them were, I didn't look though. Yeah, none of them are heirs. And then we got the Baroness here. We can get uh, 15 gold from her. And then him we want to keep in there. Until he dies. Alright, so, yeah, a little bit of money into the coffers. Since, uh, you know, we were running kind of kind of low. And I just keep peeking in here because I'm hoping that we have, like, another vassal opportunity. Uh, here this battle will get us a good chunk of war score. Yeah. Got a little bit of war score there. They got us uh, 29%. Uh, looks like we did wipe out his troops as well. All right, excellent. That's good to see. Let's see how our knights did over here. Of course, he's just fantastic. All right, and we captured several characters. We'll look at them after the war. Let's get this, this done here. Uh, we're only at 55%. Uh, we did finish the siege of the capital. I didn't realize that. Uh, so we need to move along to a new county, probably this one here. Yeah, that's, that's level four. Got a level three over here. Yeah, we'll just go over here next. Another faction was created against us. I, I love how the moment they agree... Also, there's a uh, hybrid culture here, Gaelic and Norwegian. That makes sense, given what's happened up there. Uh, but, but, yeah... I, I don't know why, like, they, they agree to become your, your vassal, you know, diplomatically. It's not even through war. Nobody even made them do this. And then they, like, immediately create factions against you for independence, of all of all things. Uh, very strange. Uh, now, of course, he's not happy because I haven't put him in my court. And he uh, rightfully expects a position in the court. And, you know, he'd be good in the court, too. I'd like to put him there, but I don't really want to get rid of any of the, the current dukes we have in there. Uh, I just want to wait until they die. Because no matter what, you're going to have somebody pissed off. 
So yeah, I just feel like we'll just wait till till he dies. Could just take this guy out too. Who would uh, inherit some courtier, some random person over here? Inherits all his land. He has no children. Uh, he's betrothed to a, a young girl. Yeah, he really needs uh, to do something about that. Now he has a very large army. And so that'll give him a lot of points with the, the faction. All he needs is a few people to join him. Uh, as of right now, there's nobody there, but uh, yeah. He's already got 15%. So he might see a rebellion. We'll see what happens. The uh, situation will change with the powerful vassals because he'll get more territory. Vladimir. And who lost that war? Is this war not over yet? I was wondering if the Bohemian conflict was over yet. It is not. He is currently losing that conflict, though. He's got 842 dudes. He might come over here and attempt to attack us. I did forget about this army here that needed to uh, go up. And I assume he's not going to attack us. They already could. We already won that siege. Let's move along to the next area. And now he's going down. He doesn't know what he wants to do. We'll try and get him wiped out because we stand, still can get war score from battles. So we'll go ahead and attack him if he sticks around. We're going to attack across the river to give him some kind of advantage, some opportunity to potentially uh, win it. And our, our prisoner, the prince here, escaped. He was the prince of uh, Jerusalem. All right, so that's kind of a shame because he probably would have been worth some money. All right, that's a bummer. It happens. Not often, but it does happen. Uh, less likely to happen if they're in the dungeon than if they're in house arrest, of course. Uh, this character here, can't ransom him. There's really not much to do with him. Let's get a wee cook, I suppose. Alright, so let's go and attack. And, uh, get him wiped out. And get the war score from that. That's 72%. Uh, currently, you know, 15 days for that siege. And then, uh... This one here will be done in three months. So we got an event here, the enemy banner. Also, we captured some enemy combatants. Uh, the Battle of Bellina ended in an astounding victory. Uh, well, I mean, it was like 800 dudes against 6,000 something. We're really gloating about this? Clearly we are. Uh, I eagerly listened to the messenger as he reads the report from my commander and then turned to the soldiers before me. My lord, we came upon the enemy banner while we were there, cleaning the battlefield. We thought it would be a shame to leave it behind. Perhaps you wish to keep it as a trophy. Uh, so this is the Bohemian War Banner. I mean, it's, it's comparable to some of our other ones. If we just want to look at uh, exactly what we have hanging up here. Let me just take a peek and see how that compares. I don't really think it's going to be better. Yeah, it's a famed one here. So you got the masterwork. I mean, it's 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 alright. It's frankly not as good though. So yeah, I don't think we'll put that up. You can still take it unless the other option is better. Um, yeah, I almost want to just get the prestige rather than spending prestige. Yeah, let's just get some prestige, I suppose. Remember, we're trying to get that living legend. That does help. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it was like, it wasn't even 800 dudes. Cause I think some of them took off or something. It was only like 300. Maybe he disbanded them because he didn't want them wiped out. Yeah, we, we, we're going over gloating about wiping out 300 dudes. All right, so where is that army over here? Let's get them moving uh, where they're not taking attrition. We'll keep them around, I suppose. I might disband a few of these, actually. Uh, though the war should hopefully be over soon. Yeah, maybe we'll just split off. I don't know. Yeah, I just kind of get get them down to like five thousand, perhaps. And we can't disband them because it's not a friendly area, so we'll have to take off over here. And, and that's actually it. Okay, so it's irrelevant. But we'll wait till the siege finishes. Well, it's actually it's three months. We will not wait. That's far too long. That's thirty-two days. Um, you know, what, guys, let's just end this. Enforce our demands, and all of that will be granted to our son Vladimir, and thus he is more powerful and, and definitely loves us. And we also got a, a favor hook on him as well. All right, so let's go and disband all our troops. Um, I, I'm really hoping somebody else will do this war here, so we don't have to do it. Uh, but you know, we we do need to get those counties taken because they look kind of strange, uh, just in the middle of our territory here. Uh, let's go through our our dungeon, see if there's. Anybody might want to keep? Probably not. Yeah, I expect we'll just release all these. Uh, this character here, yeah, same deal. 
ransom if we can. And this character here, yeah, ransom as well. All right, excellent. Give us a little bit more money. Uh, we should be able to build in our capital. We should have enough. Let's get all these accepted. Uh, faction has disbanded. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the capital and uh, get something building, get an improvement. Uh, so we'll get the pastoral lands improvement here. Uh, maybe not. Maybe we'll do this one. Yeah, we'll do this one. Get the fort level up. It's, it's fort level eight right now. That would take a long time for somebody to siege down at this stage in the game. Uh, go back up to speed five. Let it go. Um, you know, we just had a war. So probably no more wars this episode here, guys. We finally swayed Duke Sesto again. Good God, that's taking forever. Uh, I think we're just going to cancel that. That's I think about as good as we are going to get that. Um, could go ahead and improve opinion with some of those vassals that are unhappy. Probably uh, this guy. The other guy hates us a lot. So it makes more sense to sway him. 81% chance of success. So yeah, we'll make that happen. Try to anyways. See if there's anything we want to be aware of over here. And it looks like we finally had a counselor die, but it was actually the, the patriarch. Okay, so not one of the counselors I wanted to die. Uh, also, our high almoner died. I forgot we even had a high almoner. Uh, we could look at our position, see if there's anybody we want to put in place in these open positions. Uh, but we got the new patriarch. He's already uh, supporting us with the 50. Uh, so that's excellent. So we don't even have to, to sway him. We're getting his full money and levies. Uh, well, it looks like we're not quite getting the full levies here, but we should. So we got the new patriarch, and we also finished construction in two of our counties. Okay, so we can go ahead and, I guess, uh, start the construction for something else. Yeah, we want to start the construction on the farms and fields. And yeah, we want to go ahead and take a look at our positions in the court and see if there's anybody we want to put in place. It's going to do like a new master of the horse if we're just wanting to boost somebody's opinion. We got a lot of excellent characters for this job. Yeah, quite a few people who would do this well. And we have the money uh, to grant this out. So yeah, we will do a, a master of, the, hunt, of the, the horse. Probably not the master of the hunt, though. Uh, though, I mean, we, we could if we wanted to. I just don't want to pay him. I know the master of the horse is more expensive, but it does have a more useful bonus with the effectiveness there. Uh, so yeah, we'll grant this out to... I mean, you can do somebody who already likes you a lot. We want somebody who's excellent at the job. Uh, could do Prince Ivan, our half-brother. Makes sense to honor him, I suppose. Yeah, you know what? I kind of want to honor him. And these guys all, all really like us, so let's give it to, to Prince Ivan. He's been a good character here. Uh, so down here with the High Almoner, we always need more piety, but I mean we're doing pretty good right now, so we don't really need that. Uh, but we could put Sophia in place here. I mean, it makes sense, because she has no other position, and she'd be excellent at that job. So you know what? Let's give a job to our daughter. And then, I don't think there's anything else that we need right now. I thought we had a bodyguard. What happened to the giant? Did he die or something? Did he move away again? What happened to our giant bodyguard? We did all that work to get him into our... <laughs> what happened to him? Yeah, we just lost him. Huh. I didn't give him any titles. I know I didn't give him any titles. I didn't keep his wife over here, did I? Oh, he died. He died from complications related to gigantism. You know, the, the giants do die at a younger age. Okay, so that's what happened. I just completely missed that notification, apparently. Uh, well, we can see if there's anybody else who would make a good bodyguard. Just so we'll have one. And really just our uh, son-in-law. That's our son-in-law, right? Yeah. It should say that he's your son-in-law. Married to your daughter. It makes sense that it says that. He would be average at it. He doesn't even like us that much. I don't know if he's trustworthy enough for this position, honestly. Yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> uh, I got those wall towers constructed. And we have a court event. Courtier scor uh, scorned. So unhappy about the position we just granted to our daughter. Well, I don't care. Yeah, that's what I'm just saying. Oh, come off it. That's how I feel right now. 
Goodbye, sir. Yeah. She's not even anywhere near as good as she is at that position either. Uh, so yeah, he wants to pay homage to us, so we'll let him do so. And uh, we can ask our head of favor for gold. Uh, why not? We always need more money. And this is going to give us 1251 because it is based off of your, your income. And so those it does become very profitable for us. And what is this? This is increasing our prestige. Uh, we just got all that money, so I suppose we can repair it. It's cheap. So it's going to do so. All right, so with the money, we can construct quite a few things. Already constructing over here. Uh, is there any location where we might want to construct a holding? Yeah, perhaps in either one of these two here. That would make sense. You can also do one over here as well if we just want to continue trying to make this one better. Yeah, I suppose we'll do it over here. It's got three slots. Uh, so which one do we want to put the city in? Probably this one. Yeah, it makes sense. So it's going to create a city here. Five years to get that construct. Could construct another one in, in one of these areas here as well. Yeah, I don't think we're going to right now. We're just going to improve the, the stuff we have here. Yeah, we're just going to improve the stuff that we got here, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and improve this one. And this one here. Excellent. And we're not building in here because we're eventually going to give all that out. We can build in Kiev, though. I keep forgetting that we have this over here. Uh, Say so we can go ahead and improve this, I suppose. Improve the hamlets. There we go. Beautiful. Keep on stepping up our money. And yeah, I mean, we're doing great on our current income. Also, we got another perk, uh, which is going to be the fear tax. So this is going to be even more money uh, because we do have a decent dread right now. Uh, so just looking at how much this is going to make us, we, we earn 59.4 now. This is uh, going to give us vassal tax contribution uh, and the amount we get. And this is also for levies, so we'll get more levies too. Uh, the amount we get is based on whether they're intimidated or terrified of us. Uh, which I imagine quite a few characters are. Yeah, we're, that's up to 42.8 now. So that was a good chunk of money, man. Well, that's not bad at all. So this is a Prince Bishop in Germany, in the HRE, who uh, has learned our language. I love that everybody's trying to learn our language now, because that's just how important it has become. I imagine it would be. I mean, they had this huge empire. I mean, it's just massive. And uh, that's the language of the court. So that would become the language uh, with how spread out our court is. This would be the language of Europe. It would be German, French, or English. It'd be, it'd be our language. Uh, our sister was released from court. That's Jeffersina. Remember, she got imprisoned over here and lost all her territory. Looks like her son, Mieszko, has also been imprisoned. Um, how is our son doing over here? He's still got all his territory, not in prison. Doing all right. Helena set to inherit his genius daughter. Okay. So let's see what happens there. And Anna, our youngest, has finally come of age. So that's all of her children are now of age. And she was a mastermind philosopher. She has fantastic stats. Yeah, very, very nice. So we could put her in the court. Or excuse me, put her in the uh, the church. And she would accept. So that would be an option. Um, but, you know, since I think it's fairly likely that Mieszko would inherit, I don't think that's really necessary. Yeah, I almost feel like we should... Uh, yeah, I almost feel like we should just go ahead and, and arrange a marriage for her. And let her try and pass that genius trait down. So yeah, let's go and do that. Uh, let's arrange a marriage. And hopefully we can find somebody that's decent. Uh, so we want inheritable traits, not lowborn. I think this is all good to go. Uh, with the exception of the age. Age doesn't matter as much for the dudes. So maybe instead of that, we'll do a maximum age of like... I don't know, we don't want to be too old. Maybe 35. You know, I've been trying to get a giant in our family for a while. So let's do it for this guy. He's also a handsome giant. So he's got two inheritable traits. He's pensive and patient. Doing the learning education, which she did as well. Uh, she, he is about six years younger, so she'll have to wait a while. Uh, this is a natural new marriage, though. And yeah, it could be just a fantastic character. It's a giant who's super intelligent and very uh, good-looking. We'll see what happens uh, with that with that line. Uh, so yeah, he did. 
Accept that. This is not the, the first event we've seen where our Chancellor's been having some issues with somebody. Uh, so we can say here this decree will force them to leave you alone. I'll get us some development growth, which is nice. Uh, though the Duke would lose opinion with us, unfortunately. Or we can get the increased levies and some prestige instead. I want the entry lifestyle points, and this also has a penalty of development growth. So let's go with this one here. And our friend died. Oh no. He was very young. How did he die? Mysterious circumstances. Somebody killed him. Ah, oh, that's such a shame. Who inherited all his territory? Was it his son over here? Alright, so you got a baby duke over here. He is robust. You have to see what happens with him. Alright, that's a shame. Yeah, those are our friend. Our friend and cousins. We got a lot of stress from that, unfortunately. And she saved the day by suggesting a reading from east of Indus. Yeah, that's, that's a shame. We lost one of our good friends. Uh, so, he wants to ransom himself. We're going to decline that, of course. We're never letting him out. He will die in that prison. Uh, how is he doing, anyways? His health is ailing now. Because he's malnourished. And it would be in our best interest for him to just die. And for his son to take over. Striving amidst strife. The latest work of my acquaintance, acquaintance, King Solomon, has become all the rage at court. And this is the Hungarian king, by the way. The peace deals with success and growing greatness, and Solomon has publicly dedicated it to me. Well, how nice of him. It's the sword song. When red-plumed war comes to his lands, it'll nearer find a keener set of hands. So let none challenge his bold intent, unless to the hereafter they wish to be sent. <laughs> I like it. So far, I've kept my thoughts to myself, but the buzz has grown too dramatic to ignore for much longer. Uh, so yeah, we will say, I can see this is truly heartfelt. An increased opinion with the King of Hungary and gain some prestige. And so that was lauded. A sensual proposal. So my wife, Empress Nana, has made her way into my life with sweet words and sweeter touches. Late at night, I struggle to keep her off my mind. The feelings smoldering between us will soon either burst into flames or die out. Well, this is interesting because we've had a contentious relationship with our wife over the many years. Uh, but we're in our older age here, you know, uh, she's older than us. I feel like this would be a good time to make amends. I mean, since she's romancing us, she's the one who wants, wants a closer relationship. She wants to make amends. So yeah, let's... Let's become a lover with our wife. As I return to the chambers I share with Empress Nana, I'm greeted by an unexpected but appreciated sight. Our bed has been decorated with seashells, and Nana herself is reclining on it, smiling confidently. With hands, mouth, and limbs, we reaffirm the devotion we swore before God, perhaps in a more carnal fashion than attended. All right, so as we were united in marriage, we are now united in heart, and we have laid with our wife, and uh, she's far too old to get pregnant, so no concern with that. And uh, she is now our lover. So we got a good relationship with our wife, so we don't have to worry about her trying to take us out or anything. I suppose that's a benefit. And uh, we can now usurp the kingdom of Bohemia. Well, we have to do that, don't we? Uh, so we'll do that in a minute. Um, we do have an opportunity to try and sway uh, the Duke, Duke Guy II. You know, it's interesting that he is in Italy with that name. He's Norman. Okay. Normans have a history in Italy. All right, so what are we going to do here? This is a diplomacy challenge, so not a good chance of success. So let's just go with that. Try to main, maintain subtly so that uh, we don't lose opinion. And do we want to keep this going? Yeah, uh, it's only plus 36. So keep it going for now. Uh, more people we can imprison. Not a great chance with the count here. Yeah, not a great chance, um, but I do assume he's got all kinds of special rights here. Oh, no, he doesn't. Yeah, let's just try and imprison him anyway. I don't know if he's part of a faction or anything, but uh, yeah, I guess we'll find out. So let's attempt to imprison him first. And oop, looks like it did not work out. And so now we do have to fight him. Okay, so that's a bummer. Is he the only one that rebelled? It looks like it. He's the only one. Okay, so... We gotta go march over there for one, yeah, one little army here, unfortunately. 
Uh, so let's just go ahead and raise up. We're just going to raise up the men at arms, guys. I think that's really all that's necessary to, to win this. I mean, that's even more, frankly, than we'll need. So let them raise up. And then uh, he's marching that way. Would be best to just go over this way. We'll just split our troops, though. We'll give them the siege engines. And then, like, uh, you know what? I should probably take a look and see what men at arms he has over here so we can counter those. Uh, so he's currently rocking uh, some some pikemen and some, some archers. Okay. So let's go ahead and get rid of our archers. Not get rid of, but move them over. And... I guess the light footman as well. Yeah, it looks pretty solid here. And we'll keep all the knights over here. And uh, go ahead and give them somebody who's hopefully good at leading here. Uh, feels like he would probably be better. So this is what we're going to do. Let's go and switch these guys out. And then have him, our half-brother, lead over here. So we'll have him go after the siege. Or to, go to, to do the siege. Uh, and then we'll march down here since he's going that way, so it just makes sense to, to try and meet him down here if we can. I don't know where he's going. Hope we don't have to chase after him too much. We have the siege going, so that's what matters, but uh, I assume he's going to try and go to sea. Maybe not. Maybe he'll just stomp all the way over there. Let's see if we can catch him. <laughs> yeah, this is not likely to, to work. And... I did forget that I wanted to usurp that title. Let's go ahead and do that. Usurp the Kingdom of Bohemia. That's another kingdom title for us. And uh, he is no longer a king over here. And thus, if he had any... No, these are off counts. Okay, so it's just completely split up now. Yeah, it's completely split up. It might have already been that way. But that's Prince Robert here. So we'll see what happens. Is he still set to inherit? No, he's not going to inherit anything. I don't know. I know he's related to the uh, the dynasty over here, which you know Jerusalem, which is apparently losing their their territory. I wasn't even aware of that. Okay, so yeah, we might lose the Holy Land, guys, uh, which means there will likely be another crusade we can participate in. So what we want to do is try and get all these guys over here to to join us peacefully, if possible. So we'll, we'll try and do that. Uh, let me see if anybody's willing to now. Not seeing it, but uh, I don't think we're going to improve this sword here, guys. Uh, we have better weapons, uh, so we're just probably going to let that get old. In fact, we could even grant that to somebody like uh, our son. Yeah, let's go ahead and grant this to him, and then he can improve it if he wants, I suppose. Uh, nope, not a gift. We want an artifact. And yeah, we'll give him the sword. Since we're not using it, and neither is our eldest son. So we'll grant that to him and he can repair it. Alright, so the siege here will be done in 39 days. That's all we have to do to, to finish this up. Uh, we can go ahead and attempt to imprison other characters. and Maybe these ones will have a better chance of success. Not Okay, so that's him. Uh, over here we got a duke. Not a good chance of success at all. So we won't even attempt. Got a countess. Didn't we already arrest her? She committed another damn crime? Yeah. Well, we'll arrest her again then. She just didn't learn her lesson the first time. Spouse up to the task. So some of my counselors believe that the job is theirs by right of blood or influence alone. How wrong they are. I expect results, yet I'm often disappointed. After a long day, I'm complaining to Nanya when she interrupts me. Let me do something about it, husband. A few lessons might sharpen their wits. All right, so you might have seen this event before, but yeah, we can improve your your uh, counselors. Uh, so who do we want to do? I think it makes most sense to do somebody who's not as old, uh, though all of our counselors are incredibly old. Actually, it makes most sense probably to do him, the patriarch. He'll be insulted. Some people do not feel insulted. Some are grateful. Um, but but he would be. But you know what? Getting that learning I think would be worth it. 
uh, does mean that he won't be sponsoring us completely now, so we're going to need to sway him again. Uh, we'll let this one go one more time, and then we'll, we'll start that process. Um, but let me make sure that, and he's not. Uh, let's make sure he's converting something uh, right over here, I suppose. Make use of his new learning points. I don't know where the hell he went. He could be anywhere. We did arrest her again. All right, excellent. Um, I mean, you could go ahead and modify her fuel contract again and get her up to, you know, maybe the, the normal fuel levies or get up to the high taxes, I suppose. Uh, but that's not even going to be an option because we've already done it. So you can't do that. Uh, so could just ransom her for money. That's 50 gold. She hates us, though. We arrested her twice. Um, could execute her. And then her mother would actually gain the title because the daughter's a bastard. Okay, so eventually it will probably come to us then. Her two titles. Could also just revoke her titles and give them to somebody else, somebody more deserving. I don't think this would be... Yeah, this is not even a, a crime. So yeah, just revoke like one of them and grant that out to somebody who deserves it more. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Uh, let's take a look at the two counties and see which one's the uh, the better one. I mean, they're both pretty cruddy, but that one's clearly better. Uh, so that's the one we'll revoke. And just give it to somebody else. It might not ever want to leave her, or let her leave now. And you can't kill her now. Well, actually, we could. Yeah, we can still kill her. I guess she's still a witch. So let's just do that, and then her, her mother will inherit that title. And hate us. But we'll inherit it after her. And then this one will just grant out... Could keep it, of course, but yeah, we don't want to do that. We'll just grant this out probably to somebody around the area. Let me just see if there's anybody in the duchy. Okay, this is the duchy of, of Kiev here, so we haven't even created that yet. So yeah, I might just want to give it to like a neighboring character if there's somebody decent. He's 62 and young. We want him to be young as well. It seems like all of these characters are old as hell. Uh, there's a 35-year-old. Yeah, he neighbors it, even if he isn't another duchy. Uh, there's also her, and it's going to be her mother inheriting. She still hasn't arranged a marriage yet. Why? Maybe we'll do that for her. Oh, okay, it's just our kids here. Maybe I'm looking at, yeah, we need to reset all this to default. Yeah, maybe just uh, arrange a marriage here for somebody. Doesn't even really matter who. It's got to be somebody young, though. I mean, there's this character. And then you could even grant him the duchy, and then the, eventually they could inherit those. Yeah, let's go and do that. We'll grant it to this character. She would not accept it, even if it was matrilineal. She probably would if we gave him a title uh, beforehand. So why not? So let's go ahead and grant him the title of this one here. And, you know... Now we won't be able to arrange the marriage between them and think about that. Because he's not a courtier anymore. Alright, well it's fine. He deserves a title anyway. Because he's pretty decent uh, marshal. I know we let him out of prison not that long ago after capturing him, but yeah, I feel like he deserves a title. Uh, and we've already looked at all these characters, right? Yeah. Uh, more neighbors that can be vassalized. Oh, well, you look at this. This uh, prince here, he's of Jerusalem, but he's not actually uh, in Jerusalem. He rules this county here. Uh, those are the territories we wanted to to get in there. And he's willing to accept normal feudal obligations as well. Apparently there was a character earlier in the game that was willing to. Uh, he'll go for the high feudal obligations. Where he, Where is he at? He's over here. Uh, but yeah, I, I didn't even see that it was normal when I changed it to the lower level one. Yeah, we can get these guys on high feudal obligations. Alright, so that works out nicely. All right, so more vassals, meaning that I think we're about to hit the cap again, unfortunately. Um, oh, God, the guy got behind me. How'd that happen? <laughs> All right, so we'll try and go over here. It looks like we will be engaging them there. All right, excellent. Uh, they did accept our offers, and so we've gotten two of them vassalized. Still waiting on one more. Um, we can also grant them off uh, to try and avoid the, the vassal limit here. Um, so this is... It doesn't really matter. We don't care. We want them gone, so... 
All right, so we'll grant them, and then I'll improve opinion as well. So there's still one more character, and he's not going to. That's Prince Robert of Bohemia. We took his titles. So he still owns these two, so we're going to have to get those in warfare, uh, clearly. Uh, there is this character here. We just sent that offer off to him, and he'll accept that. And so now it's just these two here. Beautiful. And uh, again, he's not going to... Uh, to do it on his own. He hates us. I don't expect he will anyway. Yeah, negative 34. That's not happening. That's with the low feudal. So we are again over the cap, unfortunately. So we're going to need to create another title. More kingdoms that we can create here if we wanted to. We've got the kingdom of Sardinia we can create there. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just give... I mean, none of these are really going to reduce it by much. Yeah, none of these are going to help us much. We're getting to the point, guys. We're starting to run out of titles. Here's one. This will get rid of enough, um, but yeah, it's not It's not good enough. We're going to create it. Let's get rid of uh, the, the penalty, I suppose. But yeah, it's just not going to not gonna help that much. Uh, so that's these three characters here. So you've got her, and uh, she's orthodox. So this is all under the, the Duke of Prussia. They've really increased their, their holdings a bit from what they had before. Remember, we granted all this territory here to Lambert. And he had like four counties, I believe. I mean, I guess it says he had a lot there. Yeah, he had quite a few. Uh, but they didn't have all these ones. Uh, they've definitely increased their holdings some. Uh, so we don't want to grant it to him since he's under, under that duke. It would be one of these two characters here. He's uh, 55 years old. Hmm. She's 27. I suppose it makes sense to grant it to her. Make her the Duchess? Yeah, let's go and do that. Uh, so, that means she won't be able to get that one. This is only going to get rid of one. Wow. Alright, so not as helpful as I would like. But at least it gets rid of the penalty. But eventually, guys, we, we're going to have to create some kings. Or we're going to run into some issues here. Uh, in fact, this is going to have to be the end of today's episode. So made some progress here. Got some new vassals over here. Finish up that war. And uh, looking more powerful. Ever more powerful. Uh, you know, obviously control most of Italy here. Got Sardinia and Sicily. Uh, we've gotten territory in southern France now. And looking very powerful. And of course, we also now have a, a Duke of Bohemia. Who is our son. Prince Vladimir, and he's looking a lot different, than he's, isn't he? And here's our son, 36 years old. Uh, we are currently 53 years old. I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you have a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you on the next one, which will be on Tuesday. And thanks for watching.